So I'm about to meet a guy called Jack who runs a charity called Football Beyond Borders and they're doing something really cool for the World Cup. Okay, so tell me a tiny bit about your charity, Football Beyond Borders, and what you actually do. Our basic belief is that football is the most powerful tool in the world for bringing people together, for inspiring and educating young people, uh, and for bringing different groups of people together who might not have much in common at kind of face value. It's using football as a tool which gets people who wouldn't normally be in a classroom on a Saturday for any reason whatsoever to come and stay in a classroom for 45 minutes and to study because they know they're going to go and get to play football with for 45 minutes afterwards with their friends. Football is a bit of a stealth tool almost for making people who don't really care or aren't really that motivated about learning things to learn things while playing football. Yeah. On our way to the classroom, Jack showed me a favela which he's helping to rent out during the World Cup. She knows us and we're cool and she's trusted us to kind of find, I guess, like-minded people, fans who are interested in having a bit of a different experience who yeah. might want to stay in a house in a, in a really cool favela during the World Cup. Yeah, that would be amazing. I suppose you see a completely different side of Brazil as well. Is she a good cook? Yeah, and I've never gone to see Marcia on all my board because you know. Ah, uh, she's, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, I'm she's okay. really good. Yeah. So during the World Cup we're charging £15 a night. £15, that is so cheap. So I'll just show you one more thing, here we go upstairs. So British fans, if you're looking for somewhere affordable to stay during the World Cup, great food, great views, lovely people, this is the place to be. Jack's teaching the kids how to say numbers in English, playing games with them. Six. Oi! Three. Oh. 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 But I think it's about time I teach these kids something. England will win the World Cup. England will win the World Cup. England will win the World Cup. Can you translate? A seleção inglesa. All right, so they've done some learning in the classroom now. We're heading down to the football pitch. I've been told to carry the snacks as well. This is my new best mate. So today I'm one of the kids. I'm joining in the training. I'm going to learn some stuff. my training I'm ready for the real thing this is a serious game actually they're getting their team picks taken I think the booze have got a good chance today come on we're gonna do this yes yes, yes. we're gonna win we're yeah. gonna win If you're visiting Brazil's third largest city, here are my recommendations. Have a go at Capoeira. Get involved with a game of football overlooking the sea. And if you want the full experience, book yourself into some accommodation in the city's favelas.